That is the sound of a firestorm of bullets, not in a war zone, but a Tucson neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Jennifer Waddell. Shots rang out in May of 2011 when Pima County SWAT served a search warrant at the home of Jose Warenga. SWAT saw him in a doorway holding a gun, so they opened fire. The family filed a wrongful death lawsuit, at one point demanding $20 million. Tonight, we have learned they've reached a settlement. Not on your side's Marcelino Benito, live in the newsroom tonight to break it down for us. Guys, this was a case that stirred up strong emotions for Guarena's family and the Tucson community. And now, more than two years later, it's almost over, just a month before it was set to go to trial. It's a nightmare that started with sirens and a booming voice. Please, children, open the door! Minutes later, SWAT sees U.S. Marine vet Jose Guarena standing at the door holding an assault rifle. They opened fire, 72 rounds in just seven seconds. Gunshots like boom, 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 screaming, get, the, get out of the house, get out of the house. 22 bullets hit and killed Guarena, leaving a wife frantic. They were shooting him, I don't know, I'm so scared. And a family wondering why. And the only thing he, he asked me, Mom, my dad was a bad guy. They killed my dad. The police killed my dad. Why? What happened? What did my dad do? The county attorney's office cleared the SWAT team of any criminal wrongdoing, but today, vindication of sorts in the two-year civil battle with area law enforcement agencies over what happened that day. And the amount that we reached is a clear indication that they, the defendants in this case, all defendants in this case, take responsibility, accept responsibility and liability for their bad acts that day. The exact figure isn't public yet, but family attorney Chris Salepi says the money will help a family move forward. She can truly begin the healing process. More importantly, Salepi believes the settlement will show the public that Guarena isn't the criminal law enforcement made him out to be. He's not going to be looked at as a member of a drug trafficking organization. He's going to be remembered as the decorated Marine that served over in Iraq came back and became a great family man. Now this deal isn't official until the court and the Pima County Board of Supervisors approve it. That is expected to happen at their September 17th meeting. We reached out to the Sheriff's Department tonight for comment on the deal, but neither their attorney or anyone with the department wanted to speak with us. They will wait until the deal is approved in a few weeks. Marcelino, thank you.